One of my most valuable skills have been learning how to type. In this video, we're going to take a look at why and how you can do that too. This is a newly created Dart file. And what you might be thinking is that I'm going to preach about learning how to type fast. And this is not really about learning how to type fast more than it is to just be able to type without looking at the keyboard. Typing fast just comes with time and practice. So for example, we can create a method, void test. We can type something in the method, let's say test in this case. And the most valuable part here is not the speed in which I typed. The speed is not that impressive. The most important part is just not looking at the keyboard and just being into the actual thought process of actually coding. So for example, let's say we want to add another class. Let's say we want to add a car in this case. And everyone knows that if we have a car and if we have a person, we have to go up to the class person and we have to inherit car because that makes a good inheritance. What I want you to do now is in general, just move over to something like monkey type, 10 fast fingers, type racer or anything like that. And just try out your speed of just writing as of now. In this case, I'm just going to take a 15 second typing test and see how it goes. And here we can see that we got 107 VPM and I just urge you to try and take a typing test yourself and you see where you're at. What usually happens is that you might feel that you're going to look down on the keyboard or just in general type kind of slowly. So for example, like less than 40 VPM. For those of you that actually feel like you struggle with typing, what you can do is just learn how to type again. Oh, by the way, this is me in the future for editing. You should probably also subscribe. Now to actually learn how to type, there are a ton of different websites and here's one of them. The most important part is you learn how to do touch typing in general, so you don't have to watch the keyboard. And Typing Club is just one example of that. There's probably a bunch of other ones as well. And what you do is you just go through that, learn all of the finger placements to then be able to type without looking. So after you have actually learned how to do touch typing, you will go back to then practice the actual speed of typing and the accuracy. And when you're typing, you will notice that you're kind of slow, but one of the most important parts in general is that you avoid just looking at the keyboard at all. You will just start typing and over time, maybe like a couple of hours of practice, you can do that by just spacing out training sessions throughout the days and weeks. And what you will notice is that you will kind of quickly increase the space as time moves on. Now, how does this make coding more fun? Well, it's actually quite simple. The faster and more consistently you can type without looking at the keyboard, the more you can actually focus on the part that most of us think is fun, which is actually coding. You don't have to think about typing on the keyboard or just finding whatever you want to type on the keyboard and looking through that. You can instead just kind of type and do a ton of different iterations a bit faster than you did before which often results just coming to conclusions faster as well. So if we put this video into two bullet points, we have the first one, which is just learn how to do touch typing. If you already know how to type without looking at the keyboard, you don't necessarily have to do touch typing. It doesn't really matter. The second one is just improving the speed at which you type. My general recommendation for which speed is the most beneficial and most fun to be at is probably 80 and above. Higher than kind of 80 VPNs is where you see kind of a diminishing return in which the enjoyment comes from and you will start just grinding the speed, which is not always what people just think is fun. And also be aware of if you're writing code, you're probably writing more than just words. You're also writing special characters. In this case, squarelys, parentheses, quotation marks, single quotation marks and things like that. Try to incorporate that in your way of training to type as well. That way you can actually write code fast as well and not use text. So if you come this far, let me know down in the comments in which speed you're actually typing now and also in which speed you might want to be able to type in. Also, while you're at it, you can subscribe and maybe watch, watch some video over here or something. Yeah. Yeah, do that.